Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host Lukendra Kumar. In our previous videos, we discussed some of the genes that are important for the eye color in humans. And today, we're going to discuss another important gene that is uh, HERC2 gene. We already discussed OCA2 gene. And today, we're going to dig deep into uh, the concept of OCA2 gene, HERC2 gene, and their relationship in contrast to the eye color. I am also going to show you some of the other genes that are responsible for the eye colors. So it's important that you understand this concept in detail and uh, if you like the video then please do subscribe to the channel and support the content. With that note, let's jump on to the presentation part. All right, so now we are on uh, the fourth slide. And on this slide, uh, you can see, I have clearly mentioned that HERC2 is the another gene, is another gene that is responsible for the regulation of human eye color. And the question is how? So these, uh, these two genes, they are present on chromosome 15. So now this is, uh, this should be clear to you. and and the important point here is this particular gene, this HERC2 gene controls the OCA2 gene. And now we know OCA2 gene is responsible for the maturation of melanosomes, right? So this is functioning directly to control the amount of melanin pigment, right? I can write here pigment. And the gene that is controlling OCA2 gene is the HERC2 gene. And, and the another point that I have mentioned here is the polymorphism. Both in this case, uh, as in case of CA, OCA2 and HERC2, you will get polymorphism. Polymorphism is basically the, uh, the change in the nucleotide sequence. So if I talk about single nucleotide polymorphism, which is an important characteristic of these genes because of that they produce different shades of eye color and the single nucleotide polymorphism is basically when you have a DNA sequence like this you have one nucleotide and this position is being occupied by different nucleotide right so uh, because of that you will have different forms of this gene and that is known as single nucleotide polymorphism because you have the polymorphism in the single nucleotide of that gene sequence. Now what will happen, this particular gene is going to reduce the expression of OCA2 gene and because of that the lighter colored eyes will be produced. So basically, it's going to downregulate the expression of OCA2 gene. That is important. So when you have a high expression of HERC2, in this case, you will have downregulation of OCA2 gene, right? So this is important. Many questions you will see in your exams, they are going to ask you, okay, what will happen when you have high expression of uh, this particular protein? You will have light color eyes in the human population or you have dark color eyes, right? So if you know that how this regulation works, then you can answer this question very, very easily. Now, as I've already mentioned to you that there are n number of genes and uh, the most studied genes, they are IRF4, SLC24A4, ASIP, TPCN, to TYR, TYRP1, and so on. So you can study in detail on this particular topic and you will find that there are multiple proteins that are associated with the human eye color. It's not controlled by a single gene and it is usually happening in most of the cases. A particular phenotype is controlled and regulated by multiple genes. Right? 
Okay, so this was all about the proteins, important proteins that are associated with the human eye color. I have explained the function of uh, OCA2 and HERC2 gene. All right, now let's jump on to the next slide where I'm going to show you some of the research articles. All right, so we are concluding this particular video lecture. But before we are concluding this lecture, I want you to uh, read these two important research articles. Article number one is genetics of human iris color and patterns. Article number two is genotype phenotype associations and human eye color. These are important articles and you will find multiple references multiple studies in these research articles associated with human eye color so it's gonna really it's gonna help you in your research on this particular topic right it's really important that you cite research that has been done on that spe specific topic so i hope that the concept of human eye color concept of uh, gene is now clear if you have any question you can ask these questions and in the comment section i will try my best to answer those questions and now I'm going to show you uh, the Uniprot website and I'm also going to show you the Protein Data Bank website where we will investigate the structure of these proteins if they are available, right? So we're going to dig deep into this particular topic so that we can understand how, uh, how the research in this area has been done. So what we are going to do is we're going to investigate Uniprot for the presence of this particular protein or the gene or the function associated with this particular gene and we are also going to investigate the HERC2 protein in Uniprot as well as in protein data bank and we're going to open the structures in PyMol. It's going to be fun. All right. So let's jump on to the tutorial part. Thank you for watching the video. In the next video, I will show you the tutorial where I'm going to show you these genes and the proteins in Uniprot Data Bank as well as in Protein Data Bank. So I hope you're going to know more about the structure of these proteins and also about the function of these proteins. So if you like the video, then please hit the like button and stay tuned for the new video. Thank you and take care.